Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about array and object operators. So we will just look at some important operators in object and array. Now the first operator is member access. You can assign this operator using a single dot. As the name implies, member accessing operator used to access members in the object. In the previous lectures, we had seen how to create object and access the members using member accessing operator. The syntax of member accessing operator is as following. Object, then we specify the member access operator and your property. The important thing is property must be a valid identifier and when you are accessing the property of the object, it must match to the object property. A property consists of a key and a value pair. Property key must be string or symbol and value can be any type. For example, I will say constant obj is equal to and in the curly braces I will say id colon 1 comma name colon I will say daily in the single quote right and to access the property of the object I will say console.log and in the bracket I will specify object dot name in this example we use member access operator to access member in the object so using console.log we print name property value of the object. We had created a complete video on object. If you had not seen this video yet, then must watch this video first and move on. You can watch this video on the top right corner of the screen or from the description. But the nutshell of this topic is using member access operator, you can access members of the object. The next operator is computed member object. So what is use of computed member access operator? If you go to the past, then you would remember we use this operator to create an array. This operator not only create an array, but also you can access elements. There is one more way to use this operator. I will use the previous object and access their property using computed member access operator like this. I will say console.log and in the bracket I will specify object and in the square bracket it means using the computed member access operator I will just access the property of the object. Now you can see you can access object properties using this operator right. Now let's move on to the next operator property existence operator in. The in operator return true if its left side operand is in the right side operand. It means the in operator return true if the left side property is in the right side object. For example, if I declare a simple object here, so I will say constant car is equal to and I will specify some properties like a C name means car name, BMW, model i8 and the year which is 2015 and I will say console.log and in the single quote I will specify C name in car. When you execute this statement the result would be true because in operator match C name property in the car object. We had learned the basic use of in operator in for in loop also. If you wanted to watch for in loop video, then click on the card over here or you can watch this video from the link provided in the description. Right? The next operator is new. The new operator is used to create an instance of the user defined object. For example, when you wanted to create an instance of the object, you need to create a class. 
like this i will say class model and in the curly braces i will specify a constructor right when you create your class and constructor no instance has been created yet now to create an instance of the model object i will say constant c1 is equal to new model and i will say parenthesis and specify semicolon at the end to create a second instance i will say constant c2 is equal to new model now we have two instance of a model object we will take a brief look at class object and creating an instance of the object in the future lectures. So don't worry, you will get complete understanding to create class and instance of the object. Right? In the next tutorial, we will cover remaining operators of object and array. That is all for this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily. That is all for now, we will see you in the next tutorial.